going on guys it is Easter so happy Easter guys and just want to kind of want to show you what we got going on here in Northwest Missouri bunch of snow I don't know if you can see it very well or not she is snowing it was probably it was definitely less than a week ago it was 80 degrees guys 80 degrees was super hot like literally the day after it was 80 degrees I think that falling morning is like 28 degrees or something like that something stupid so opening day of turkey season is tomorrow morning I've been out scouting I found a lot of birds guys I'm actually looking really for, I'm really looking forward to it um, the weather on the other hand we're gonna fight it a little bit I believe it's you never know what the weather's gonna do with them birds. Sometimes it shuts those birds up. They won't talk very much. But I am looking forward to it, and it looks like it's gonna be a cold morning on that first opening morning set here in Missouri. But anyways, I am gonna be out there in that blind. And then Caleb, he's come down from Iowa to film Austin um, over, no, just, I don't know, 10 or 12 miles from where I'll be hunting. And then those two are going to be heading to Kentucky, I believe, Monday night or Tuesday after maybe Tuesday's hunt. Uh, depending if they tag out. If they tag out tomorrow, I think they're going to for sure leave uh, tomorrow whenever they tag out. But I will uh, be going and put bet birds to bed tonight. So I'll probably be taking you guys along with me and hopefully get a bird to gobble so we know exactly where to set up tomorrow which I guess I say we where I will set up tomorrow I'll be filming myself so anyways see you guys out there and happy Easter all right I just got to this spot there's one big you can tell for sure it's a tom goblin he just gobbled I'm gonna go ahead and try to get him to gobble again Oh, 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 oh. That's what I love to hear. Man, I'm having a tough decision in the morning. I mean, tough. I did see a bird in this field in the morning. It was just him and a hen. What's up guys? Gotta be a little bit quiet on this interview here. It looks like I got two jakes head to a roosting tree where usually birds do roost there. In the past they always have. I'm hoping that that group I seen over here this morning on my second setup, hopefully they go back and roost where They've been roosting the last few nights. Yeah, it's definitely a Jake. <clears throat> I'm half strut right now. I just have my GoPro going right now, guys, so I can't really film it for you. But I'm going to try to put these birds to bed tonight over here on the second place I set up, and I had that encounter with. A bird, I had him at 30 yards. If I would have had a shotgun, I could have easily killed him. Uh, you guys aren't going to see any footage from that hunt because I didn't have a ground blind. I couldn't move very much. But it was an exciting hunt. There was five gobblers over here. And some jakes. And I counted like 12 hens. So the hatch last year was great. Which is really good because around here has just been super poor.
ways away, but there's like no wind this morning. I just hope that they pitch down in this field I'm in. There's technically four different fields they can pitch into.
It fucking happened fast. Oh, yeah. Just a little two year old from last night. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't take it. I didn't take it off. But, oh, uh, for the most part, yeah. I mean, he come right into the decoy, but he actually went to my further hen. I put my hen out there a little ways because there's a kind of a bend right here. I wanted him to see it off the roost. Yeah. And the other tom, the other tom actually flew on the other side of the ditch, and then he flew down here with a bearded hen. And the, the only thing that sucks, you know, is that I didn't get any of the footage until it got right here. Oh, I see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just like that happened in Nebraska. It, that's what sucks about using a blind. Well, now if I would have had a camera guy, you would have got the whole thing because I would have been on the other side actually because you were coming from my right. All right, guys. I'm trying to get it to where you can actually see me. It's still pretty dark in this blind. This morning was how it was supposed to be. Here in northwest Missouri, very seldom do we get very calm days, and today's very calm for Northwest Missouri. I could hear birds everywhere, guys. It was absolutely awesome. Just a two-year-old bird. The second part is I couldn't get all the, the hunt in it, guys, because the way I set up, it's basically the only way I could have set up, honestly. But so sorry about that but they pitched down and the hen pitched down first and there was actually a bearded hen and then he followed and the other tom you can hear him still clucking over here he actually flew on the other side of the ditch so luckily one of them was dumb enough to come right here and I could hear him spit drumming I got him to gobble a few times birds are usually gobbling actually pretty good on the roost usually you have a pretty good chance of actually getting them called in. And boy, he come right in. I shot him at 629. So, pretty jacked about that. I can still hear turkeys just hammering. This turkey's in the field now. All right, guys, day number two here in Missouri. Uh, didn't take this turkey's head off uh, like Caleb, Jake, and Austin did this year, but uh, I had a little bit further shot than those guys. It was only about 15 yards. The Magnus bullheads, uh, the way they fly and stuff, you typically want to get within 15 yards, so it was right there on the line. Birds are still hammering all around me, guys, so I'm trying to make this somewhat quick. Uh, first off, just want to thank uh, Derek Teresa uh, Middle Mountain Custom Calls guys, they make he makes a beautiful, beautiful box call, and it works great. I'm terrible at the box call, and even I can run this thing. I finished I finished the turkey off with the slate because I'm still kind of bad at running the purr, but uh, I'm getting better at it. He makes a great, great box call. He has all sorts of different kinds of box calls, guys. So go check him out at Middle Mountain Custom Calls, and then thanks to Magnus Bullhead for letting us use their guillotine. Only has one blade left, but it's lifetime warranty, so I'll show you guys what it looks like, kind of. There's three blades on there, guys, and they are deadly. They take their heads clean off, guys. I shot this one a little bit low, more in the neck and in the body than I did the head, so that's why I didn't take his
head completely off, but I'm pumped to be on the board. Day number two, uh, Austin and Caleb, they're out hunting right now, and then they actually head out to Kentucky, go chase some mountain birds, and hopefully they have some su success out there and we'll be making some trips out there. They're kind of doing some scouting for all of us, and we might make it a, a routine trip out there to go out there every year and chase turkeys with their bows. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm just pumped up and I got the rest of the day now, so less talking about hunting.